Our top story at 11, a making cold case closed after nearly 40 years. Avery Braxton spoke with local law enforcement who helped put the case to bed and he joins us now in studio. Lori, thanks to the actions of one retired officer who wouldn't give up and the Bibb County District Attorney's Office, a family can now have closure and peace. Mark on Napier Avenue and Bartlett Street. I just prayed that the Lord would let me find him, you know, and send him home. And uh, somebody had to love him and care about him. In 1979, Deputy Anthony Strickland got a call to the Evergreen Cemetery off of Houston Avenue in Macon. The call would stay with him the rest of his life. It stuck with me and uh, I knew he was here and he, no name, no marker. Strickland was called to the funeral services of a teenage John Doe. The remains would stay unidentified for nearly 40 years until Strickland, later retired, found a missing teen in Michigan and matched the dates. It, it was him, I knew it, and uh, it had to be. Strickland contacted the Michigan State Police, who then reached out to the Macon Judicial Circuit and the District Attorney's Office to eventually get the body exhumed. Assistant DA John Regan helped coordinate the effort with other agencies, including the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children and the GBI. And just this week we found out that it was a 1 in 1.9 trillion uh, that it wasn't Andrew Greer. And since there are only 7 billion people on the earth, we're very confident that we have found Andrew Greer and now we're going to be able to bring him home back to Michigan, to his family. And in a long chapter for a grieving family. I know for me it's, it's a great relief that we're able to close this, clo put a, a closure on this case for, for the Greer family. And that teen was identified as Andrew Greer. His parents have passed on, but he still has family in Michigan. Arrangements are being made to bring the remains back to the family. Lori, back to you. That's an incredible story. Thank you, Avery. The remains were analyzed at the Center for Human Identification at the University of North Texas.